In this video, I'm going to talk about Bitcoin going to 28K and Icons Balanced choosing Band Protocol. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another daily crypto video. If you guys like this kind of content where you get daily news on what's going on in the crypto markets make sure that you subscribe to the channel like this video if you if you actually do let's get into it uh, but first i wanted to tell you guys about the brave browser if you aren't uh, if you haven't downloaded the brave browser yet it is just like google chrome but it actually uh, protects your privacy by blocking ads and trackers and pays you in crypto uh, and bat cryptocurrency just by clicking ads like this one here this eToro ad and you get paid in basic attention token this month I've earned 11.475 bat that's two dollars and ninety one cents and if bat gets to its all-time high this will be worth close to eleven dollars and I earned about the same on my mobile phone as well there'll be a link down in the description so Bitcoin is on a tear it went up finally broke eleven thousand dollars and will it get to 28k max kaiser uh thinks it will so bitcoin will hit 28k and correct then hit six figures matt kaiser max kaiser so bitcoin will not stop rising until it hits twenty eight thousand dollars max kaiser believes as the largest cryptocurrency gains over 20 percent in a week in a series of tweets on July 27th, the famously outspoken host of the Kaiser Report forecast that BTC USD was headed for six figures after a correction period near $30,000. Peter Schiff is puking his brains out. Okay. Kaiser made the prediction as Bitcoin passed 11200 during a day of surprises. As Cointelegraph reported, $10,000 managed to hold for longer than a matter of hours and data indicated that this latest trip to five figures was sturdier than others in 2020. So $28,000 is in play before we see a pullback and then we're heading to six figures, Kaiser summarized. Well known for his optimism and heavy preference for BTC over other cryptocurrencies, Kaiser further took a swipe at gold bug Peter Schiff. Schiff, who has been celebrating gold hitting all-time highs against the US dollar, had previously dismissed Bitcoin's rise. It's put up or shut up for Bitcoin. It's got to hold $10,000 now, he said during a debate with Morgan Creek Digital co-founder Anthony Pompliano on his YouTube channel on Sunday. Kaiser had little time for for this and Schiff's other arguments, claiming that, in fact, the Bitcoin skeptic was secretly regretting his choice of gold. So, um, do you think we're going to hit 28K in, in, in the near future? I don't know. Is, is 28K something we can hit by the end of 2020? You, you never know. You never know. I mean, I would think that we could hit 20K by the end of the year, but if we get to 20, 20K, at least 20K by the end of the year, I mean, I'll... All bets are off. 2021 is going to be a massive cryptocurrency year. It's just going to explode, and we could hit. We can. We could see some of these insane numbers. Um, so let's see. BTC price is getting very interesting, an analyst says. So as Coin Telegraph noted on Monday, gold is part of a safe haven boom, which is seeing impressive performance across assets as the U.S. dollar weakens. Another giant stimulus injection from the Federal Reserve inflating the money supply is combined with geopolitical tensions and the ongoing coronavirus outbreak to produce unease among investors. At press time, BTC USD was circling $10,730 after reaching its local highs of $11,380 overnight. Um, so breakout, 10500 dollars the level that's needed to become support then things get real interesting he wrote on his telegram trading channel so very interesting stuff there Twenty eight thousand, i think is completely possible by the end of the year maybe maybe not who knows but it's coming get ready in other news we have 
icon uh, icon's first DeFi platform balanced is integrating band protocols scalable oracles for collateral and synthetic assets so band getting another putting another feather in their cap as and then kind of like pushing their way up there and stating their case against Chainlink. I think there's room for both Chainlink and Band Protocol. It's just like Ford and Chevy. It's just like McDonald's and Burger King, Pepsi and Coke. You know, there's room for both. So Band Protocol. So decentralized financial platform for stablecoin and synthetic assets balanced has chosen Band Protocol to provide a secure and scalable price feeds for collateral asset ICX USD and numerous synthetic assets such as BTC, gold oil, and more upon product expansion. Balance allows users to deposit their ICX as collateral and borrow tokens packaged to the value of real world assets. So this is not only big news for band for balance, but more importantly, it's big news for icon as well. As the first DeFi platform in ICON, the Balance team has evaluated several Oracle options for secure data feeds for the pricing of balanced, pegged assets and collateral. Band Protocol has been chosen to accommodate their extensive data needs in real-world assets from various sources without being restricted with scalability and customizability. And that goes back to Chainlink being on Ethereum, Ethereum 2.0 not being done yet. And that's what they mean by scalability and customizability. Right now, Band Protocol has that being on Cosmos, and that's the one thing that's kind of like setting Chainlink back just a little bit is being on Ethereum. But Ethereum will eventually get that figured out with the 2.0 release, and the scalability and customizability issues will hopefully go by the wayside. This collaboration is a result of the ICON and, and Band Protocol strategic partnership where both teams are working together to secure and support the leading decentralized applications in the ICON ecosystem. Both Balanced and Band Protocol teams have been closely collaborating to design a highly robust Oracle script on Band Chain based on specific parameters that are fine-tuned to the needs of the Balanced community. This includes outlining initial data sources, customizing the different time and price deviation updates, update intervals, as well as optimizing security parameters to ensure the highest degree of manipulation resistance. Okay. So Balance will be using band protocol to query the ICX USD price feed from five unique and trusted data sources, Binance, OKX, Upbit, Huobi, and CoinGecko. This secure price feed will be used to maintain the proper value and collateralization ratio of ICON dollars, which can be used to gain exposure to various synthetic assets. And you can see the chart below. I'll leave a link down below for the rest of this article, but the big news is that ICON's making moves, and so is a band protocol, and uh, balance sounds like it's quite the project. Um, and DeFi being on ICON is only going to help ICON in the long run because, you know, DeFi is the, the big thing right now. So there's a lot of money flowing through DeFi and ICONs getting in the game. So, guys, let me know down below. Do you think that Bitcoin will hit $28,000 in 2020? And what do you think of ICON getting into the decentralized finance game with Balanced? If you guys uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.